and your in perspective view. And as you can see, this little view cube, as it's called up here, if you press, for example, front, it'll send it to the front of this object because we only have one object in this scene at the moment. Uh, or if we uh, say we rotate the view a little bit, you can see here it says left, so press that, and you are now looking from the straight left angle and the back and the top. And you can also rotate the views here uh, to <coughs> fit your liking. And if you press here, this is basically the home one, so press home. Um, you can also, I believe, oh, never mind. Um, so that's pretty nice, right? Yeah. Um, it's pretty simple, these views. You can also go to different views by pressing this whole, this uh, part of the toolbox here, which here's the single perspective view, as you can see there, uh, which we are in right now. Here are the four views that we were just in. Here's the perspective uh, slash outline, which, as you can see here, um, this splits the view and shows the out outline here. You can also resize this by hovering over this little thing right here and dragging. So if you want a big outliner or a really small outliner, which is barely even visible. And the outline is something that is a bit more advanced for this lesson, but I might, I'll go through it later on. And also what you will notice here is that this works at the same way as the four views did. Uh, that's basically that it's um, able to space a uh, click on these uh, to make them full screen. So if you hover over this outliner and press space, then you have a full screen outliner. Or hover over this and you have the single perspective. And now it doesn't work to press space. You won't go back into the four views mode because, well, you just had this open right now, but uh, if you want to go back to the four views, you can just press this and you're back. And now when you press spacebar, it'll go back to the four views. <coughs> so, you also have some different ones. You have the um, perspective slash uh, hypergraph, which is over up here. This is, this is basically the material ed editor of the Maya, which is, it is a handful, I have to admit, it is pretty uh, full of information to suffer. I still haven't done all of this. It is very advanced, but I will go through that later on. Because I have all these, you can also view even more by going up to the view menu bar up here and pressing panels and go to save layouts and you have a lot of here and you can also make your own by pressing edit layouts. Uh, so let's just go through one more thing here before I end this lesson. Uh, let's go through the window Contest certain menus up here. Uh, basically, all these, you know, all the file edit, where you say all this. But these aren't just uh, the normal views that, you know, not views, uh, normal uh, boxes basically that come down here. You can do some pretty neat stuff with this. So let's say, let's say I select a face here and, um, oops, let's say I frame up in this, paying the F. Uh, let's say I like to extrude a lot, so for that I will press this icon up here to extrude. Uh, so let's pull that out. And uh, let's see here. Um, okay, so sorry about that. Um, so uh, let's say I want to do that a lot, but let's say I don't want to hit G every time to extrude. Let's say I want to go up to here, edit mesh extrude. Uh, but it is pretty tiresome to just go up to edit mesh and just having to click that every time you have to do that, right? So what I can do here is I can go here and you'll see this little uh, bar, not really bar, but these lines basically up here. Oops. Uh, so if you cl click this and this will tear off a copy of just that menu uh, which will be dragged around over here. So let's left click and put it right here. And you can also move this around right here. <coughs> and obviously you can still use this one, it doesn't like ignore this one. Uh, but you can also use this one now, which is above everything. Uh, so even if you click this to make it active, this is still above it, which is very useful. So now if you want to extrude, I uh, select that one, and let's say select this one, uh, by shift clicking this one uh, to sync multiple faces. And let's see one extrude, so we we'll press that, extrude, and we drag those out, and boom, I have made a very strange T-shape. Actually, let's 
just take the move manipulator and pull that down. And there we have a T. And uh, let's just extreme bombs more. And oh, I'm so creative. We have a cross. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I'm not Christian, so let's remove that. Um, and if you just want to remove this because it's getting annoying or whatever, you can always, you know, take that away. And I'll go through what these do, you know, what the um, uh, option boxes and uh, several things do in uh, other tutorials, basically. This is just a basic tutorial. And I didn't go through everything about modeling or what, you know, what fits or what extruding is, because I am expecting that you have at least a basic understanding of what uh, modeling is. And extruding, for example, is a very basic form of modeling, polygon modeling. So, okay, this that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And one thing that I forgot to mention, I just came up with it right now, is, you know, the framing thing you can do by selecting the object in F, which will frame it. You can also do it in the multiple views here, which I don't have selected, so let's close that, that one to get into it. And uh, if you want to, instead of not you know selecting each window and pressing F in each to frame it up in all viewpoints, you can just uh, <coughs> you know have your mouse wherever and press Shift and then press F, and this will frame it up in all viewpoints. And let's just shade it all viewpoints here. And if you don't want to press the buttons to shade them, you can go up to here uh, and go to view. And you can go to, uh, no, not view, shading. And here you have wireframe, which you can select smooth shade all, which is just smooth, smooth shades all objects in this scene. You can also just smooth shade selected items. So let's say we create a new cube here. And let's just uh, zero out this, this data here by dragging over these three and you'll be able to edit them at the same time. Actually, let, let's not zero them out, let's type in like one. There we go. So now, now they're not at uh, the exact same place, so let's frame up on that. Um, so let's say we just want this smooth shade because this is the thing that we're working on right now. This we don't need to see that much, we just need to see the geometry in general. So. Let's go to shading, <coughs> let's go to smooth shade, select objects, and bam, you, this is the thing that you have selected here will be smooth shaded, uh, which is very useful, I believe. So, okay, let's go back to smooth shade all. We also have flat shade and flat shade, select objects, and bounding box, which is just the bounding box, and all these lovely little things. And just by the actual vertices, vertices which <laughs> the points, which is pretty fun. Or so let's smooth shade all again, uh, or we can also go X-ray, which is very useful. Uh, which now you can actually you have the shaded view on, but you still can see through and see the back part of the model as well. So you can see the back faces. And this is very useful when you're working with, uh, for example, reference images. Uh, you don't have to always go into wireframe when you're editing them. So you know that's a very handy piece of thing, and you can also. I have a script set up here, which is the null script here, which you can see it says X-ray. So if I press that, it turns off, turns on and off. Let's just frame, frame, frame. Um, it turns on and off X-ray in all viewports. So as you can see, bam, bam, bam. Uh, whatever. <coughs> this is a null script. You won't have this, but this is actually a script, uh, which is basically the script script editor. I will go through it at another date. So, I believe that is it for this tutorial. I will make more when I have more time. And excuse me if I was talking fast or if my extreme Swedish accent, which I probably don't have, I probably have some other weird accent, is bothering you. Um, I'm sorry if it is, you know, really. And uh, have a good day and stay happy, I guess. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will make more tutorial later, as I said, and thanks for watching.